this video, we'll be looking at some applications of equations of lines. Let's start with a warm-up question. On your own, determine the equation of a line connecting the points 5 and negative 3 and negative 7 and negative 1. Pause the video and try it now. So remember that we're always trying to fit our equations into y equals mx plus b form, where we need a slope and we need a y-intercept. In this question, we're only given two points. We're not told the slope. So we need to use these two points to find the slope using the equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I use the lowest x value for x1 and y1, which makes the other x value, the other point, x2 and y2. And then I sub the corresponding values into my equation for slope. So I have negative 3 take away negative 1 over 5 take away negative 7. Simplifying this, I notice the two negatives touching each other together on the top. So that becomes a positive one. And likewise, in the denominator of the fraction, two negatives together becomes positive 7. So my slope ends up being negative 2 over 12, which reduces to negative 1 sixth. I take that value of slope and I sub it into the equation for m. And now I need to find the y-intercept. And I can do that by plugging in any value I want. And I can do that by plugging in any point that I'd like for x and y. I'm going to plug in the point 5 and negative 3. And simplifying, I have negative 3 equals negative 5 sixths plus b. I bring the negative 5 sixths to the other side of the equal sign, changes to positive 5 sixths. And simplifying, I get a b value of negative 13 sixths. Did you get y equals negative 1 sixth x? minus 13 sixths. Let's take a look at some word problems. Determine an equation of a line with an x-intercept of 6 and the same y-intercept as 5x minus 2y minus 8 equals 0. Remember that to solve these questions we need two points. I know my first point, an x-intercept of 6, means the point is at 6 and 0. If I'm looking for the same y-intercept, I'm looking for where x equals 0 in this equation. Subbing 0 in for x cancels that first term out, which leaves me with 2y minus 8 equals 0, or negative 2y equals positive 8, dividing 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. So my second point is 0 and negative 4. I find the slope between these two points using the equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I use the lowest x value for x1 and y1, which means I'm taking 0 Subtract negative 4 over 6, subtract 0, which gives me a slope of positive 4 sixths or 2 thirds. So y equals 2 thirds x plus b. I pick one of these two points and sub it into my equation. I'll pick the easiest point to work with, 
which has an x value of 0, which means my b value is negative 4. So my equation is y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. And last example, Ms. Newton is 4.5 meters away from a motion detector. Two seconds later, she is 10.5 meters away. We want to know how fast Ms. Newton's walking, and we want to determine an equation for her walk. Look at the word fast. That's a key word. It means speed. Speed is a rate, and it's distance over time. If speed is a rate, well, it's just a slope. So to solve this question, we really need to think about this information in terms of points. Two seconds later, she is 10.5 meters away from a motion detector. That could be the point 2 and 10.5. And likewise, 4.5 meters away from the motion detector, let's assume that's when we start timing Miss Newton. So when time is 0, she's 4.5 meters away from the motion detector. So if I'm trying to find how fast she's walking, her slope, and if I'm trying to find the equation, I need to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Or 10.5 take away 4.5 over 2 take away 0. Simplifying, in the numerator I get 6, denominator I get 0. I end up with a slope of 3, therefore I can say that she's walking at a speed of 3 meters per second. Plugging the slope in to my equation, I have y equals 3x plus b. If I want to find the equation for her walk, I'll plug in one of these points. Again, I'm going to plug in the simplest equation. I'm going to plug in the simplest point, 0 and 4.5. I plug in 0 and 4.5 because the 0 cancels out with that multiplication, and I'm just left with 4.5 equals b, or the equation for her walk, y equals 3x plus 4.5.